I'm the technical director here at our Olympic Flighting Company. I'd like to take a small piece of your time and discuss with you one of our new finishes we offer here at ETC, Satin Nickel. It was a widely popular finish in the 60s when it was used on furniture and major appliances, but production was very labor intensive. Today it's much easier than that. In the late 1980s, researchers developed a new method of producing a satin finish, new chemistry using wetting agents and dispersants to produce the insoluble particles that result in the satin. For an example here, we have a full bright one, basically bright nickel chrome. This is how they looked in the 1960s where they took the scotch bright wheel, they sat in the nickel, and then they had to reactivate the nickel and put the chrome over it. Now this one is the deepest satin that we offer here. And this is the new one with the wetter and the dispersant added to it. As you can see right here, this is one of our many satin nickel tanks. It's getting ready to pull them out right now. This is what it looks like coming out of the tank with satin nickel on it. As you can see here, the equipment's a little bit different than your normal nickel tank to produce the satin finish. There's several different types of agitation. Right now with the finish we're running, we have a rod agitation and a bump bar on it. With other types of finishes, satin finishes that are not so intense, we'll use an overflow wear or we'll use inductors or air that's at the bottom of the tank. One, and putting them in there. All our parts of satin nickel has a bright nickel underlaying it on it. So you can see the difference before and after the satin. The gloss meter will give us a reading of the amount of gloss or the amount of reflection off the part. By those numbers, we'll know if that part meets our customer's demand. To ensure that our customer always gets the proper finish, the intensity of the satin that they want, what we'll do right now is at the end of the production line, we'll go ahead and take a piece off the top, middle, and the bottom, because those are different current densities, and then we'll run it through our gloss meter. That'll give us a number. Based off of that number, we know we have the correct, we either do or don't have the correct intensity of the gloss or the amount of satin that the customer wants. Right here, as you can see, these are uh, just several samples of the intensity of the different types of satin uh, that we offer. I'd like to thank everybody for watching our video and looking at one of our new exciting finishes that we offer here at Arlington Plating Company.